Empyema refers to a collection of pus in the pleural space. 50% of empyemas are a result of pneumonia and a progression of an associated paranemonic effusion. Other causes include lung surgery, trauma, esophageal perforation, and transdiaphragmatic spread of an intraabdominal infection. The development of empyema occurs in three stages. In the exudative phase, the pleura responds to infection with edema formation and exudation of proteins and neutrophils into the pleural space, increasing permeability and resulting in a pleural effusion. The fibrinopurulent stage is characterized by the deposition of fibrin on visceral and parietal pleural membranes and the formation of loculations. A complex perineumonic effusion develops into an empyema when the concentration of leukocytes becomes sufficient enough to form frank pus. Finally, the organizing stage is characterized by the influx of fibroblasts and formation of a thick fibrous pleural peel and maturation of dense septations. Drainage is difficult and pleural rime prevents re-expansion and subsequent lung trapping. CT chest can determine the size and location of the effusion and provide information about the underlying lung parenchyma and pleura. Imaging can help guide treatment for both chest tube placement and identifying patients at risk for needing operative intervention. Pleural fluid should be evaluated for cytology, pH, gram stain and culture, cell count, and total protein glucose and LDH levels. Effusions are classified as transudative or exudative based on protein and LDH levels. A transudative effusion is a result of a poorly balanced osmotic or hydrostatic process across the pleural membrane, whereas an exudative process results from inflammation or a neoplastic process leading to capillary leakage. Light's criteria defines an exudative effusion as having one of the following. A pleural fluid protein to serum protein ratio greater than 0.5, a pleural fluid LDH to serum LDH ratio greater than 0.6, or a pleural LDH level greater than two-thirds times the upper normal serum level. Features suggestive of an infection include low pleural fluid glucose, pH less than 7.2, and the presence of neutrophils. Antibiotics are the cornerstone of treatment for pneumonia and paranemonic effusion. Drainage of pleural fluid is necessary for complicated paranemonic effusions. Options include tube thoracostomy with or without intrapleural fibrinolytics, thoracoscopic or open thoracotomy drainage with decortication, and chronic open drainage.